Yo, what up, y'all? This is Nas tuning in to the cut game where they talk about it all. You know how it is. Keep your shit fresh. Keep your hair fresh. <laughs> cut game. Hey, what's going on? It's Groom City. Y'all now tuned in to the Cut, cut game, game radio show. Number one podcast for the hair needs. And right it now, up. it's pregame right now. You know, right now it's not quite the hair battle tour, but this is how we get to chop it this up with family. Before. You know, so right now, got, I'm going to let him introduce him to all my peoples out there. What's up, world? It's your boy, Chico Boom, coming to you live from the Palace Station out here with Groom City, man. We're doing a real big exotics hair battle tour, city number 58. We out here, man. It's going to be great. It's going to be dope. This room is going to fill up. I can't wait to see the people that come through, man. man. Same here, same here. Hey, now, we got some Latin listeners, you know, some Spanish listeners. You know, yeah. Para toda mi gente latina, estamos aquí en vivo at the Palace Station, La Vega, Navarra. Ya tú sabes, mi gente, si no vinieron para acá, se lo perdieron. Un evento espectacular. Yeah, seeing Aki, you know. Uh, so, so, you know, so, so Chico, what's bueno. up, family? Yeah, it's good to see you, my brother. Man, same here, it's same here, you, you know always, what I'm saying? Man. All you always clean, dapper, everything is, you know I what I'm saying, where I it tried. needs to be, you know? I try, Yeah, brother. yeah, you represent that barber well, you thank know what you, I'm saying, you. for real, for real. That. that cut game, you represent real well, you know? So, Chico, uh, we gonna have you on the show because you got an amazing story, you know? And I, I don't even want to, I don't even, even want to tease him today, you know? But what do you expect today out of the uh hair battle tour in vegas well uh first most importantly we got education and uh barbers and stylists i tell you this uh continue your education continue to teach yourself to open your mind to different things so education is key that's number one and that's a great thing we got some young barbers we got some older barbers but the thing is that they're learning something that they're going to be able to apply applying it is number two that's the number two key because you can get all the knowledge in the world but if you don't apply it then it was useless so uh, getting the knowledge, applying the knowledge, that's that's always big on my behalf. This is a great networking event. A lot of people think, oh, we're going to compete for the uh, gold trophies, the gold trophies, the cash. It's not about that. It's about who you rub shoulders with, who you meet, uh, expand your horizons, you know what I mean, and uh, meet different people that are going to help you get to where you need to be, and you might be able to help that person get to where they need to be. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, what was your first hair battle tour? First hair battle tour was in Tampa, uh, about four years ago, and I went to compete for Fastest Fade and Freestyle Design. I, I didn't know Curtis at the time. Uh -huh. uh, I spoke with Jesse Lima over the phone. Uh, so those were the two guys that kind of introduced me. So I needed to do something that was going to, you know, put a stamp in the game. Yeah. Uh, going to compete wasn't going to do it for me because, as you know, you get a lot of winners, but we forget those winners. A lot of people get gold trophies, and we forget about those people later on. So I needed to do something memorable that was going to say, hey, that's the boy, boom. Remember that one time? Yeah. So I, put, uh, I rented a party bus, and I loaded it up with 25 people. Uh, from my city, and we pulled up on the scene, you know what I mean? The airbags hit, shh, it slammed, the doors yeah. open, fog machine, stunt. music playing, my own cameraman, red carpet, you know? So we oh, came okay. out stunting, hey, you know? Stunt. So yeah. so they remember me. Yeah. They're like, who's, you hear a little voice coming out of the crowd. say, who's, 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 uh, 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 tr uh, bus is this? Who's bus is this? Everybody got quiet. They thought they thought they were going to be in trouble. I said, that's mine. Said, Yo, it's dope. And it was yeah. Kurt, you know what I mean? Yeah. That was the first time I shook hands with us. So then a follow-up. Uh, a few months later, we was going to go to uh, Miami, uh -huh. and we had the, the hair battle over there. And, and mind you, I lost the battle over there in Tampa. Yeah. I, I competed. I lost. I didn't win. So, bam, here comes Miami. I said, I'm going to compete again. I, I went over there, but this time... I brought a What, party. you brought a helicopter? I tried. They didn't, they didn't let me the permits. Oh, they, they didn't. oh okay. Uh, really, I tried. Um, <laughs> that's serious. And so the helicopter didn't go, so I got a party bus, and then I rented an extended um, um, armored truck. Oh, okay. Limo, limousine, bulletproof. It was dope. So you called Brinks and said, I need one of y'all trucks well, for this they, event? Yeah, it was an old Brinks truck. They did it real dope. Like, like it, you know, it was all white. I mean, it was custom done, you know, oh, okay. on some Pimp My Ride type joint. Oh, okay. Uh, so I loaded up with 50 people this time. We pulled up black carpet event, you know what I mean? And uh, we had some celebrities in the building that day. Uh, I didn't get to compete because, uh, you know, things got a little crazy and, you know, backtracked or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but I say this to all barbers and stylists sometimes. You know what? You lose the battle, but you win the war. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and that right there was able to open up a lot of doors for me and give me a platform to share my story, to speak my knowledge, to educate and motivate different barbers from all over the country. And I've been everywhere since then. I'm actually part of the tour now as an event coordinator and planner, and I help uh, Curtis Smith, uh, you know, tremendously. And we're, and we're there. He's helped me tremendously, and I'm very grateful for that. That's dope. Now, on this show... All that behavior you was talking about, we call that jet fuel. That's the byproduct of jet fuel. You know, when you pulling up, you know, and stretch stunting. party buses, high and just stunting, you That's know what, what I mean. That's that just that's just what that cut game is about. When you just on your jet fuel like that, you know. So um, 
I met you, you know what I'm saying, part of the hair battle tour, man. And, um, you know, definitely a polarizing figure, you know, and I, I like your get down. You definitely, when I see you, I see Florida. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, you definitely. know. I appreciate so, that. So, and, for I, and, real, and, for and, real. and I admire you, man, because I see you cut for the first time and you were doing the, the juice competition and, like, you were just killing it, man. Then you came back again and then competed again. I was like, yo, this dude is just coming with ammo. <laughs> bum, bum, oh, bum. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know? don't think they thought I was a real one. You know what I mean? I don't know if they thought I, I'm certified, <laughs> verified, qualified. I don't know if they really thought that. So, it's yeah. another element, it's another side to me, you know. So, I had to bring that out a little bit. But I'm all about barber love, you know, straight up. Absolutely. I love this cut game. I've been loving it since I was a kid, you know, 19 years old. I hit the ground running 10 toes, and I've been 10 toes. Now I'm not 10 toes. We've been elevating. Jet Fuel, we've been in the clouds, you know what I'm Absolutely. saying, just always elevating at a higher level, you know. And um, I like that Chico's about education, you know, and that's what the Cut Game Radio Show is all about. We could have easily had a ratchet, barber, you know, podcast, but that's not the angle. You know, we're trying to motivate, we're trying to educate so you can apply that knowledge at the appropriate time because that's called wisdom. When Absolutely. you apply the knowledge at the appropriate time. And that's what we sharing with y'all on the Cut Game Radio Show. That's why we got qualified, verified barbers like my man Chico right here. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he, he bringing it. Then he then he shares something with all my bilingual brothers out there, you know, Cut Game Radio <laughs> Show, you know? Yeah, yeah. D- definitely. Um, I encourage... Um, um, any barber out there, though, uh, Spanish, white, black, Asian, it don't matter. Uh, invest in yourself and, and save. And keep saving. Keep saving. A lot of barbers and, and stylists retiring, bro. Toda mi gente latina, honra su chavo y no lo gasten. En vétalo en algo que te va a hacer más dinero cuando tú estás durmiendo. Make, you know, invest in something that's going to allow you to make money while you sleep. You know, right. and, and if you could do that, then, then you really are getting somewhere. A lot of barbers are, are too caught up in the, in the Gucci and the Prada and the Jordans and and they're not they're not where they need to be at financially. You're talking eighty to ninety percent right yeah. now, retiring broke, and it's yeah. a problem. You know what I mean? So, um, you know that's why we're here. That's why I'm grateful for for cats like you that got this radio uh, uh, podcast going uh-huh. on because, like you say, there's a lot of other ones that are focusing on on, on other things that are not going to get us anywhere. Okay, yeah. cool. There's only so many pretty pictures you could take of a haircut. Yeah. What are you doing with that money? You don't need to be the best barber in the game to make money. You just got to be consistent and have great customer service. I always say that. Yeah. And the money is going to come. It's what you do with that money that's going to determine where you end up in life in the future. There it go. There it go. There it go. He he, he dropped it right there. That's a nugget for y'all. That's more than a nugget. You know what I'm saying? That's a pack of nuggets. You know what I'm saying? And, we, you know, Cut Game Radio Show, we got the sauce for it, too. You know what I'm saying? So that's just, you know, that's just what's going Sweet, on. Sour, so mustard. this pregame right now, you know, you sharing a lot of Cut Game with them, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know, we we got we dropping nuggets and we creating sauce for y'all to dip them. You know, that's what that's Absolutely. what we doing. You know what I'm saying? That's what we doing, you know. So, um, so Chico, I want to get into your story so bad, but you travel so much that I know I'm going to see you in L.A. very soon. Brother, so we're going to say that. We, but We got a date. Me and you but, got a date. But, we talked about it, and yeah. you know we got a date. We're going to sit down and get that done. Definitely, know? definitely, because Chico Boom got a deep story. You know what I'm saying? That deep story. Right now, y'all looking at somebody who's a winner. He prevailed. You know, he elevated. Y'all looking at somebody who really overcame a lot of obstacles, you know, and made a lot of smart life decisions and just – changed the course of his life to what y'all see today you know entrepreneur you know just doing it you know yeah, and, doing and, it winning. and i tell you what that you know i would never think that from where i came from and here we are 10 years later i'm traveling the world motivating educating inspiring barbers from all over and teaching them yeah. how they could save money too and how they could do something positive and constructive with their time with their money that's going to allow them to uh reach new plateaus in their life that they never been Definitely, definitely, definitely. So I'm so. very blessed. I'm very grateful for everybody. That's what's up. So I know you got a lot going on today, man, but I thank you for sharing no, thank you, my time brother. with the thank Cut you. Game Radio thank Show. Thank you. Now, look, we're going to get some more of you throughout the day because I know when this boy filled up, your energy going to be crazy. <laughs> it's going to be now, crazy. Now, are you hosting today? I'm co-hosting along Danny. Danny's the host uh, of the Hair Battle Tour. I co-host with him, and, uh, uh, you know, we amp it up. I'm his hype man, and I just work the crowd while he works the stage. I will be doing a live stream uh, f- from 7 to 9. I will be hosting that. So I will be on the floor with the microphone and the cameraman, and we will be uh, showing all around the world. So if you want to tune in, go to hairbattletour.com, and you can tune into the live stream. And you can, if you, so if you weren't able to make it to the show, you can eat your popcorn from the comfort of your home with your boo thing, with your kids or whatever, and just watch how we get down. And it's really entertaining. It's real fun. 
Uh, it's like, but I'm gonna tell you what, it's it's not like actually being here. You are here, it's yeah. a whole different vibe, you know. So I encourage any barber and stylist to put your chips up. We're gonna be in the next city, I believe, New Jersey. Meet us out there. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be you know epic every time. Cut Game Radio Show gonna be there too. Now Absolutely. when you now when you walking around with all that energy, man, come by the Cut Game, share some of that. Oh, man. you know we're gonna you do know that. What I'm saying? Share some of you that. You know so. we're gonna do that. You know what it is. So that's what's up. <laughs> all right, family. Yep, Cut Game Radio Show. We out.